हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एज यू ऑल ऑफ यू नो आई एम संबित प्रयाराज आई हैव दिस चैनल कॉल संबित पी एच डी वेर एशिया आई माई एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ स्टडिंग एंड लिविंग इन यूरोप नैदरलैंड जर्मनी सो आई केम टू नैदरलैंड इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन एंड आई एम फ्रॉम इंडिया सो एज आई हैव मैंशन इन ए पोल आई सॉ दैट आई गॉट सो मेनी रेस्पॉन्सेज फ्रॉम पीपल एंड ऑल्सो ए गुड पॉजिटिव रेस्पॉन्स टू शेयर माई स्टोरी ऑफ हाउ आई डिसाइडेड टू मूव फ्रॉम इंडिया टू नैदरलैंड इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी बीन स्टेइंग इन नैदरलैंड फॉर मोर दैन फाइव ईयर्स करेंटली आई एम डूइंग ए पी एच डी इन नैदरलैंड एंड आई ऑल्सो फिनिश माई मास्टर्स हियर इन ट्यू डेल्फ इन कंप्यूटर साइंस सो या लेट स्टार्ट माई स्टोरी I need to say this is in a very compact manner because otherwise no one will be interested to hear about it. So I will try to include touch upon important points that many of you asked in the comments, and I also thought will be important to share. And if you find that you need something else, just comment below or ask. I will try to make another part two video. So talking about my background, uh, just like everyone, I finished class ten, class twelve in India from my ICSE school. So only two things which I found beneficial coming from ICSE is that my computer science background and my English background is really really good as compared to someone from a CBSE or a state board. And then just like everyone, we run after IIT and IIT state boards. And uh, unfortunately. I I don't think I should say unfortunately but uh, uh, I got into a state university uh, for bachelors in Odisha which is called VSSUT Bulla which is Veer Surendra Sai University of Technology Bulla so uh, the name is not important the thing is that I did my bachelors from 2011 to 2015 in a state university so if you see that on a top level view Uh, if you study in the state state university in india it's kind of like a low tier university as compared to the nits or the iits or the triple iits or maybe some private university like bits pilani or something so one thing that was constantly in my mind i think it is in everyone's mind i don't know how many of them feel it or admit it uh, is that um, i always had in mind that i uh, need to do something big so at that time we were we were not that much matured so the big thing that only came to our mind is like getting a high paying job after bachelors or maybe going abroad and doing some higher studies maybe like masters mba something depending on because most of the time i feel at that time my mind was not that matured so i was always thinking like um maybe if i do that even though you don't see from the perspective of your real interest or a passion which you should uh, i always feel like uh, at that time i was thinking like okay if i do if i go this direction if i do this like mba or this then that will be kind of a stepping stone for me to land into such kind of high paying job or research or whatever like so that that thought has completely changed now after being exposed to so many things and uh, knowing the world uh, from a different lens so yeah so the primary thing was uh, thinking big something big and we also have this social comparison which we always do in india uh, also indian parents do it which i don't think is okay is correct so at this point i would like to say like as i have learned now you should always compare to yourself like what you were few months back or years back instead of comparing to your fellow peers or someone that you know of so when you are in a state university normally getting in a campus placement is not that difficult if your background is english and everything else but the main problem is if you dream of that big thing that is the big salary or a big status or something big then that ideally doesn't happen uh, when you graduate from a state university maybe with time you'll get it depending on your potential and everything so that that, that is one challenge that is like uh, comparison thinking something big and another challenge is getting the opportunities so even if you go for higher studies in india or go for a job government job or something like that then there is this caste quota system the quota reservation which i find uh, very difficult for 
because you have such a high population and then you have a quota system so it's very difficult to really get good opportunities which is a big hurdle in your way i think that was the primary reason that i started to think going abroad although i was completely unknown like i think it was around the beginning of my second year of bachelor's in the year 2012 when i started to think about all these things and it was kind of like a plain clean slate for me like what do you need and i had many questions but no answers sadly at that moment at that moment as um luck would have happened so probably i was lucky i don't know um i heard from my father his friend's daughter she was uh, like one or two years back she went to uh, florida university in gainesville florida i remember till that day and i think she was my first point of contact outside india just to understand and know like how easy it is that is the first question that comes to the mind and then you ask the other follow-up questions like what are the requirements how are the people there uh, how do you live what is the expenses finances and you have many questions like you will be seeing in my channel like about studying abroad i will also make more videos so and from her i got lot of information which i needed and at that time i remember i was in hostel in during bachelors and we didn't have that good internet connection i was always chatting on the phone uh, probably in facebook i don't remember but in the phone and uh, the time zone were also different so it was like midnight in our case and at that time it was day there and then I always used to every night I had a list of questions, curiosity and uh, I don't I don't think that I mean Google search was there but I was not that aware of like how can I take maximum advantage by doing a Google search. Probably I'll make a video on how to do a proper Google search that's a very good uh, thing that everyone should know. Most people uh, underutilize the potential of Google. So when I made up my mind that I will go abroad by hearing everything from her about the requirements and everything then I started building my profile and I heard from some of the seniors alumni even though they were not abroad they suggested me that try to have a internship in some IIT uh, if it matches your field and if you find a professor because you get a stipend in IIT and apart from that you can strengthen your profile which will be very very helpful when you apply uh, from for masters abroad and i think till the time i was applying like uh, i applied in i think i applied in more that for something in fall like for example for fall 2021 applications you need to apply one year before so before that you need to have gre toefl or ielts and all the admission like all the cutoff criteria you need to fulfill all the criteria for admit so that's the reason like as i mentioned um, during my iit kgp iit khadakpur internship at that time i tried to build my linkedin profile uh, i think it was in second year if i'm not wrong uh, i mean the iit khadakpur internship was in third year because after the end of third year i need to apply and uh, at that time i was already planning so the thing is that from the second year of your bachelor's if you are doing a four-year bachelor's you should start planning uh, like how you are going to apply for different universities abroad i also set up my linkedin profile which at that time was not of that relevance but i thought maybe it will be useful in the future uh, when i was doing internship at iit khadapur and I, I i would not say that i learned a lot it added to my cv and i also got some kind of exposure of doing something independent it may be a very short thing but that is not what we are trained of at least i have not seen that in my university during bachelors so you need to develop that yourself by the way uh, i collected a lot of gre and toefl material because i gave gre and toefl uh, so all those things you will find a link in the description below i have that material it is really huge so i just finished 10 to 20 percent of that and i got uh, i did not get a very high score in gre my score was 310 
um, but still I'm just saying it was with one month preparation and for TOEFL I only prepared for seven days as I mentioned because I was from ICSC so preparing that English for TOEFL is very very easy in my opinion so after you have the planning the exams everything then there are two major things uh, I would say three major things uh, talking with your parents convincing them uh, thinking about the finances if you have if you can or if you are doing immediately after a study like in my case another major thing is shortlisting your universities and deciding the country most people run after us and in my case also usa was the first choice i never thought that i will end up in europe and stay in netherlands for more than five years uh, but uh, the main thing that you should consider is like which universities are ranked in what manner and your field of work how who are the faculty members how is the research group or how are the job opportunities there in your field in that country in that region uh, maybe better talk with some alumni because in my case i remember like i talked with a few of the alumni apart from the florida one i also talked with other alumni so before going to the short listing of the universities let me tell you small in brief like how i convinced my parents so uh, i told my father about this and obviously after that only i gave the exams because i came immediately after my studies i didn't have any work experience so uh, he helped i mean he paid for the exams i cannot pay for the exams myself and also for my study abroad uh, like by exams I mean GRE and TOEFL so what happened was that he asked me one one thing that like, um, will you be able to do everything by yourself like I know that you have stayed outside from home in a hostel but still you are not doing everything by yourself like cooking and it's it's kind of you make a commitment and you need to make up your mind uh, and once you have that i think in my case what i feel is that uh, my bigger goal or as i mentioned in the beginning thinking something big that goal was to come here and study and survive so that was kind of a very strong conviction that i had which kind of superseded anything else which was there so these things seem trivial at that moment it's kind of a rush flow in which you are always flown like that that so it depends anything can be a driving factor in your case but in my case that was the driving factor so when i said yes that i can do it myself then he believed and he also convinced my mother uh, and everything was okay uh, so the reason i'm saying this is because i'm the only child of my parents so that's why also they were a bit concerned it happens then the major part of the choice making before you come abroad is shortlisting the universities and deciding where you want to go so i will share my experience uh, my first choice was usa as i mentioned uh, back when i was applying in 2014 because i was applying for 2015 fall so i was applying in 2014 um, you know why i was applying for us because in india at least at that time we are we were always uh, hearing stories of studying abroad and I think 99.9% .9 were going to US so that was the primary reason and uh, I was not sure about the scholarships that was a major concern because I, I have heard stories that USA can be really expensive and it can be difficult so when we applied I remember exactly I think we applied for like six to eight US universities one university in Canada which was McGill University and uh, two in europe ets zurich which i knew was ambitious because they also need a very high score in gre and that was my first point which i was not uh, not be able to cross I did not have very high gre score so ets zurich was very ambitious and i don't know why but for some reason i saw about tu delft in netherlands and at that time frankly speaking it was kind of a gamble or a risk i was not aware of anything about netherlands because there's not that much information although 
they call it a technical university which i came to know after coming here when i'm making the videos now so it was a kind of a risk but for us uh, i made a lot of research i contacted some alumni some seniors many of uh, the seniors from our university are also in us some are like alumni from last 10 years so it was kind of a very tricky situation where you are not sure whether you go for the place where you have done a lot of research about like USA or you should go to Europe. So the main deciding factor in my case was that the finance side of Europe or TU Delft without scholarship at that time was really low. You will be surprised why because in 2015 I remember 2014 or 15 uh, the price for something because of the global oil price the euro fell to like 66 i remember exactly so for that one year the tuition fees and the living expenses were really reduced as compared to the last year last year euro was 84 and within such a short time the euro fell to 66 i don't remember how much was dollars but when we were converting to rupees uh, estimated expenses in the US without scholarship and here in TU Delft without scholarship there was like a two times difference so it was twice the price in USA that was the main factor and apart from that TU Delft was not a bad university during my time I remember I think it was around 50 or between 50 and 100 in terms of the ranking in computer science and luckily I had only one senior whom you might have seen a lot of times called Pai Lenin, Lenin Mishra so I asked him, he was my only point of contact, although he was not in computer science, he was in a different field and I got very positive response. I tried to Google uh, TU Delft, there was not that much information, only heard something from different professors and some of my father's friend who were also professors. You need to talk to a lot of people, sometimes at least at that time, web search was not that powerful. At some specific locations or universities to gather information and at that time talking to people alumni helps a lot. So I took the risk, took the plunge and finally went to TU Delft. So there you go. Now you are seeing me here in front of you uh, starting the YouTube channel and I don't know where time takes me. So don't forget to comment below if you want to know something more so that I know. Maybe I'll make a part two of the video if you want to know specific things about my thought process or my journey from India to here. And don't forget to smash the like button. It helps with the algorithm and it also motivates me to make videos help you out and help each other. Share this video, share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. Till next video, peace from Netherlands. Peace.